and uh, and then the second, the next, the following year, I was just going to start on 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 uh, this film that I'm going to tell you about in a second. But I became addicted to the show, and also what I became addicted to as well is uh, is uh, hearing feedback. I mean, this is a really awesome time to create media because you can be in constant contact with your audience, and uh, and every so often I will get emails of people who say. I didn't know what Critical Mass was until you, I watched your show, so I started Critical Mass in my city, and I'm like, this shit works. You know, people actually respond, and they can see that a lot of actions that they, that they can take are, are, are very simple, and don't, don't take a lot of work and can have big impact. How do you promote online? I mean, how do you get it out there? It's just you, you post it, on, and then it just kind of goes on its own, or do you actually... No, no, I mean, I, I will be, it would be disingenuous to like, think that it just took off, but... Um, I, uh, I posted on my on my site, uh, and then I've been promoting this uh, free software platform called Miro, which is like a video podcasting software that's uh, uh, on on all platforms, and that's really where I get the most of my viewers is for, is, is through Miro. Um, and um, but I, I I I put a version on YouTube, and then and, uh, as much as I can promote, I mean I post on MySpace, I post on Facebook, I post on mm-hmm. Guerrilla Guerrilla News Network. Mm-hmm. I post on Free Speech TV, who that uh, for some freaking reason decided to air my show about a year <laughs> it's ago. So great, yeah. and um, and so I post on their board, and and then from there I just hope that you know people pass it on. So mm-hmm. and then I usually send an email out that says you know new show is out. So there's a whole bunch of different ways you can you can get it, and also some radio stations started broadcasting the audio as well. So that's pretty cool. Mm-hmm. And so now, what's next? Uh, yeah, uh, the film's uh, the working title is called End Civ, as in end, end of Civilization. And um, I, I can say that it's going to be a more serious uh, effort if, if you're kind of used to like my snarky type of style. But it's certainly going to have a lot of humor in it, too. It's not going to be like, oh, this like tearjerker movie, like how we're all, you know, pretty much screwed. Are you uh, going to swear? Um, n- well, I, I'm not going to be in the film. Uh, it's uh, 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 like I was saying earlier. So it's mostly about the, uh, the ideas of Derek Jensen. So he's going to have a pretty pom- prominent role mm-hmm. in explaining his 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 premises, as he calls them, and uh, um, and basically trying to to find the the evidence that his premises are true, but doing it in a visual style. And it's basically about how we have we don't have an unlimited time to stop the destruction of nature mm-hmm. and how we need to step up our actions and we need to wake up to the fact that um, um, capitalist solutions to a problem that was created by capitalism are not the way like mm-hmm. buying buying uh, compact fluorescent light bulbs is mm-hmm. not going to save us mm-hmm. buying a Prius is not going to save us you know that our lifestyle cannot continue in this way and uh, because I mean, honestly, it, 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 I, I read the science. I read what's ha- what's happening. It scares it scares me to no end. Mm-hmm. Like I, I love this world. I love traveling. I love meeting people. I love new experiences. And to think that it's very probable that within my lifetime, we're all just going to be struggling to survive on a very basic level just just blows my mind. Mm-hmm. So you're not feeling the hope of the whole new um, presidential election. Absolutely How are not. you? Absolutely not. Um, <clears throat> Um, you know, we can go down to all the people that he's appointed on his cabinet, all Clinton people. I mean, mm-hmm. if, if you're going to look at the eight years that the most prominent environmental environmentalist in the world right now, mm-hmm. Al Gore, was in the Clinton White House for eight years and did, did really absolutely nothing mm-hmm. to stop these things that he so much cares about. I don't think that appointing Clinton people is, is part of the solution. It's not. It's not what he sold America. He's, he sold change to America, and he's, he's just recycling people. Hillary Clinton, for God's sakes. Um, I like your show about the clean coal because it shows McCain, Bush, and Obama all saying the same thing about you know clean coal and nuclear energy, and you don't see well, the difference in some so many of the policies. And and you, and and what's crazy is that 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 Obama, on the same breath, he 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 just recently spoke at a climate conference. I think it was in Europe, in Hungary, and. Um, in the same sentence, he'll say, like, you know, we're going to create jobs with solar. Great. Wind. Great. All these different things. And then he ends it with, like, clean, safe nuclear power, clean coal technology. And it's like, tell people how, how coal is extracted. Yeah, maybe, maybe if the technology exists, which do, it doesn't exist, but maybe if you, can, if you can actually capture the carbon before it leaves, and maybe I can give you half, half of the argument. 
but you still had to blow up mountaintops. You mm -hmm. still had to do all this incredible damage mm -hmm. to these areas. I mean, that is that is not clean. And it's the same with uranium. You need uranium to to power to you know to for to create the uh, the fuel for for the nuclear power. And it's the same thing for uranium. You have to you have to strip mine. You have to do all these different things to actually get that stuff. And it's very very destructive. Not to mention the waste never goes away. So what do you like to tell people about, uh, where, where is the hope then? Where's the action and the, the, you know, we like to promote direct action and people doing things. I mean, you're a great example because you started this project. You, you know, got a lot of people thinking about things and you use a lot of humor. You touch people's like hearts and minds. What can you tell people who are watching this show? Like some things that people can do to, you know, make a better impact maybe to stop some of that. Localize is the big word. I mean, localize, lo localize your food, but also localize what are the problems in your community. I mean, let's just let's stop looking at, at, at the really big picture of, 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 of the national scene and see, like, you know, is there, is there a, a battered woman shelter in my community? No. How do I start one? Uh, is there people who need, like, child care so they can go to work or whatever? No. How do I do that? Maybe mm -hmm. I can offer babysitting. I mean, it doesn't all have to be like, you know, blockading and battling the cops, you know. I mean, like mm -hmm. a, lot of, a, a lot of the solutions, a lot of the direct action <coughs> that I think that is really necessary is for people to get ready to, to, to create community. And, and, and you create community, you might not need the police one day. Mm -hmm. You might not need to buy all your food from the supermarket one day. And these are things that are amazingly empowering and, and it can actually provide you <laughs> more time to enjoy your life because people are helping you out. People are freeing up your time. You don't have to spend all your time uh, making money so you can put your kid in a, in a, in a paid child care type situation. Mm -hmm. I mean, uh, the, if anywhere you look, there's good work to be done. Yep, I can visualize it, a world without police, prisons, presidents, you know, it it's could happen. But uh, thanks for coming, this is nice. <laughs> Submedia.tv, it's the end of the world as we know it. Frank Lopez, check out his work and uh, stay tuned for Indie TV next time. RochesterIndieMedia.org, check it out.